Broad Law Review. It seems lately we're having a lot of um, fraud that involves sometimes the COVID um, aid and people fraudulently trying to take monies that were meant for COVID aid. Um, and in this case, it was someone who's not even a citizen of the United States, um, but a citizen of the Dominican Republic who did some huge, massive fraud scheming. This came out on January 30th, 2024 from the Office of Inspector General from where I get most of my reports. Okay, and this was in the lovely Southern District of New York. Um, so I'm going to say the person's name because they have been convicted and sentenced. Um, I'm gonna butcher it, I'm sure. Yaharis Rodriguez Hernandez of the Dominican Republic. Uh, you're really um, shaming your own country there, Yoharis. Anyway, this is a she. Yoharis is a she. Was sentenced to 79 months in prison in connection with her participation in a fraudulent scheme to obtain over $16 million, $16 million in government benefits intended to provide relief to individuals without employment during the COVID-19 pandemic. Obviously, a lot of people were eligible for unemployment during COVID-19 pandemic. She did plead guilty to conspiracy to commit wire fraud, theft of government funds, and aggravated identity theft um, before a federal judge who imposed the sentence. Apparently, the scheme systematically targeted government funds that were intended to be the safety net um, for millions of people across the United States, many, many, many of us, during the pandemic, who were struggling to make ends meet during the pandemic. Um, I think this is great that she got nailed. I wanna see if there's any other tidbits in here that would be... Uh... So if you recall, guys, there was the Corona Aid, Relief and Economic Security Act known as CARES. It came about um, in March, 2020. You know, you might dislike some of the things in it, of course. But anyway, um, da, 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 let's see. There was hundreds of billions of dollars in unemployment insurance benefits. Yep, payable to eligible lawful lawful workers and administered through the state agencies, such as, in this case, the New York State Department of Labor. From February 2020 through December of that same year, um, Ms. Rodriguez has Hernandez and her co-defendant, I don't know if he has been convicted yet, so I'm not going to say his name, but she had a co-defendant. It looks like a guy. Um, they participated in a scheme to obtain COVID-19 unemployment benefits through the fraudulent filing and verification of hundreds of benefit applications using the names and social security numbers of numerous other individuals. How did they get these numbers? That's what I want to know. The law enforcement was alerted to it after she and her cohort fled a Yonkers hotel in December, leaving behind in their previously occupied room over 700 pieces of mail from the Department of Labor, the New York State Department of Labor. Those pieces of mail contained amongst, among other unemployment benefits related materials, Department of Labor issued prepaid debit cards for numerous other individuals linked to approximately, approximately 568 New York State unemployment insurance benefit accounts. Over the course of that relevant time period, she and her, her beau exchanged numerous text messages, images, and other communications that included personal identifying information, such as names, social security numbers, and dates of birth that were used in connection with the filing and verification of numerous fraudulent applications for unemployment. It was New York state as well as other states, apparently. She also recruited and bribed a letter carrier of the US Postal Service, who in turn enlisted two other postal workers to collectively intercept New York State Department of Labor mail. Oh, wow. That Rodriguez and her co-conspirators directed to addresses on each of the postal workers' respective postal routes. Wow, so we have a postal service person 
interrupting Department of Labor mail in order to get this scheme to work out for as long as it did. Wow, overall, the scheme resulted in at least approximately 16.1 million in unemployment insurance benefits authorized across hundreds of accounts and at least approximately 3.2 million in actual benefit payments dispersed. Holy moly, that's that's big. I mean, they're very clever. I'll give them that, very clever. Uh, in addition to the prison term, 79 months, is that what they said? I don't think that's enough. Hmm, I don't think it's enough. She was also sentenced to three years of supervised release in order to forfeit the three million plus and to pay three million plus in restitution. Wow. That's nuts. Obviously, there was investigative work on, on by multiple agencies, including the Department of Labor, Office of Inspector General, the U.S. Postal Inspection Service. It reminds me of another movie I just recently saw. Was it the one called, it might have been called Queen Bees? I'm not, I'm not sure if that was it, but it was um two ladies, buddies, really sweet, sweet people, but they get involved in couponing legitimately, which they then turn into an enterprise and it ends up being illegal um, because it's kind of like, um, I don't know if it was all fake coupon. I don't know, but it was good. It was funny. Um, and uh, I think Vince, Vince Vaughn plays the, the postal inspector uh, investigator. He was really good. And this other guy too, um, who was in Cobra Kai. He was a, a character in Cobra Kai and he plays a coupon investigator for grocery stores, but he's not like a cop, but this is his role in this little office. He's supposed to be looking at coupons and seeing if they're fraudulent, you know, in the stores. It, it's, it's funny. It's a good movie, but you know, it does, it does tell you that this kind of stuff does not pay in the end. Um, obviously, um, Homeland Security was involved, Immigrations and Custom Enforcement, obviously, since she was from another country here committing all sorts of crime on the American people, New York City Police Department, and the Social Security Administration, Office of Inspector General. Okay, multifaceted, but look at those millions. And that's just one, guys. I can't even fathom how much fraud. I I'm curious as to how much what percentage of the monies that went out from the taxpayers of the, of the United States of America for COVID relief, much of which was legitimate, but how, what percentage was illegitimate, which was stolen? Like in this case, 16 million, three, 3 million of which was successfully for sure um, paid out. You know, uh, I, I have to assume it's huge. But until they tell us, which they probably won't, we'll never know. Okay, anyway. That was the Dominican Republican citizen, a lady who has been sentenced to 79 months for a major, major, major COVID-19 related fraud scheme. All right. Bye, guys.